Welcome to the Biotechnology Lecture Series. This is the fourth lecture on cell biology. In this lecture, we will cover introduction, history, discovery, structure, and functions of Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus is a membrane-bound organelle found in eukaryotic cells involved in the processing, modification, packaging, and distribution of molecules. In 1898, Camillo Golgi, an Italian cytologist, discovered the Golgi apparatus using his staining technique, the Golgi stain. This breakthrough earned him a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1906. The Golgi apparatus was first observed using light microscopy, offering an initial understanding of its presence. However, Electron microscopy later revealed the detailed stack structure of cystinae within the Golgi stack, enhancing our comprehension of this organelle and its role in cells. In both animal and plant cells, the Golgi apparatus is located in the cytoplasm near the nucleus and endoplasmic reticulum. In plant cells, it is additionally positioned near the cell membrane for synthesizing cell wall components. The structure of Golgi apparatus consists of cystinae, vesicles, lumen, cis, and transface. The Golgi apparatus is characterized by stacked, flattened sacs, known as cystinae, arranged in layers. Vesicles, small membrane-bound sacs, facilitate material transport within and outside the Golgi. The Golgi lumen, the space within these cystinase, hosts enzymatic processes crucial for molecular modifications. The cis face is the entry point, receiving molecules from the endoplasmic reticulum, while the trans face serves as the exit point, sorting and directing these modified molecules to specific destinations in the cell. Understanding this structural complexity is vital for comprehending the Golgi apparatus function in cellular protein and lipid processing. The Golgi apparatus and the endoplasmic reticulum are closely linked. The Golgi apparatus receives proteins and lipids from the ER where they undergo further processing. This tight coordination ensures efficient cellular processes and optimal functioning. The Golgi apparatus is a central hub within the cell, orchestrating crucial processes to ensure proper cellular function. One vital function is processing and modification. The Golgi apparatus takes raw proteins and lipids and refines them, adding vital molecules like carbohydrates. This modification is pivotal as it affects the behavior and function of these biomolecules. In addition to processing, the Golgi apparatus pivotal in sorting and packaging. It acts as a distribution center, meticulously organizing the molecules and preparing them for transportation. Moreover, it directs these molecules to specific destinations within or outside the cell, ensuring they reach their intended targets. This sorting and packaging process are fundamental for cellular logistics and functioning. The Golgi apparatus plays a vital role in the creation of lysosomes, which are cellular structures housing enzymes crucial for the digestion of waste materials. It modifies and prepares these enzymes before they are enclosed within lysosomes. Additionally, the Golgi apparatus facilitates the process of secretion. It's involved in packaging and directing proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates, ensuring their proper release and transport out of the cell to serve various functions within the organism. The Golgi apparatus actively renews and modifies the cell's membrane by integrating new components and removing old ones. Simultaneously, it temporarily stores proteins, ensuring their timely availability for cellular activities when needed. The Golgi apparatus is a pivotal organelle in eukaryotic cells, essential for processing, modifying, and sorting molecules, and plays a fundamental role in the proper functioning of the cell. Understanding its structure and functions is crucial for comprehending cellular biology. Here are some research questions. Number 1. 
What is the role of the Golgi apparatus in modifying biomolecules? And how does it achieve this function within its structure? Number two, describe the directional flow of materials through the Golgi apparatus, mentioning the upstream and downstream locations and their significance in cellular processes. And number three, how does the Golgi apparatus interact with the endoplasmic reticulum, ER, in the context of biomolecule processing and transport? And what is the significance of this interaction for cellular function? That's all from this lecture. See you in the next video for lecture number five. And let's not forget to subscribe to this channel.